Good evening and welcome to the Union Bank Court here at the Elida Fieldhouse where tonight WSM brings you a matchup of Western Buckeye League foes and a rival game as well because the Shawnee Indians are in town to play the Elida Bulldogs. Our pregame tonight is brought to you by the State Bank. We appreciate them for sponsoring this. Mark Shine and Jerry Snodgrass here. Jerry, it's a rival game. We've got two schools that are close and they really like to play against each other. You know what? And, and that's true. Also, when you look at the fact that they played the first game of the year, yes. they played the last game of the year, you know, you're right. We get to see the progression of these teams now that we're at the end of the season. We are, and they both have solid tournament opportunities as well. They're going to be in that Liberty Benton a Division II district, and you, you want to play well heading into that with a game tonight. Yeah, you do, and I think that's a, a mindset by so many people that they want – a tough game at the end of the season, and I think that's what both of these teams are going to see tonight. Our pregame today is brought to you by the State Bank. Jerry will be back in just a moment with his tips of the game. Back in just a moment, you're watching high school basketball on WOSM. Welcome back to the Elida Fieldhouse, where tonight's tips of the game are brought to you by the State Bank. Contact the State Bank for all your banking and financial service needs. Visit your statebank.com, member of FDIC, an equal housing lender. Mark Shine, Jerry Snodgrass. Jerry, how about tips to the game? Let's look, for the, first of all, for the uh, visiting Shawnee Indians. You know, taking a look at them, you know, one, they've got the ability to do so many things, but I do think they need to control the game. Elida presses well. When Eli, well, excuse me, when Shawnee gets out of their controlling tempo, I think they're a little more uncomfortable. So, one, they need to control tempo. Two, I think they need to play really good perimeter defense. Um, there are a couple very good players in the perimeter, especially Amari Wash for Elida. I think they really have to contain him. And third, hey, you're talking to a guy that, uh, you know, was a rebounder with a one-inch vertical jump. <laughs> I think they need to control the boards. I think that's a key in every single game. The Elida Bulldogs, they are also 15-6 and six on the year, 7-2 and uh, two in the conference, 6-2 and two in the conference play. Keys for the Bulldogs tonight. Well, let's go the opposite of that, call it controlling the tempo. They need to create turnovers on Shawnee, and I think they can do it. I've seen them press very well throughout the year, and they can do, an, uh, do that well. One, two, they need to stay out of foul trouble. They get production off their bench and good playing time, but I think they really need to keep their starters on the court as much as possible. And three, when I say they need to control the others, and I don't mean that in any kind of a bad way, the Berkeys are going to get their points. I just think they need to really control those other players. We see that in so many games where bench players, you know, players that aren't big scorers have big games, and they need to control that. Sure, it's not grass. We're just nice tips of the game. They're brought to you by the State Bank. You can contact the State Bank for all your banking and financial service needs. Visit yourstatebank.com. A member of FDIC, an equal housing lender. It's a big WBL matchup. It's Shawnee and Elida. It's coming up next. You're watching high school basketball on WOSN. Welcome back to the Union Bank Court here at the Elida Fieldhouse. Tonight's first quarter sponsor is Lima Chevrolet Cadillac, the area's premier Chevrolet and Cadillac dealer in the greater Lima area. Serving Lima, Ohio for over 100 years, we are proud to call this home. Mark Shine and Jerry Snodgrass here from the Elida Fieldhouse. Shawnee Indians come in at 15 and six. They are seven and one in the conference. They scored at 57 a game. They give up 50.6. Elida, they are 15 and six, six and two in the conference. They scored at 53.3 a game, and they give up 50.3. Jerry, let's take a look at the starting lineup. First of all, for the visiting Shawnee Indians, they will start number zero, Trevick Burdick. He is a 6'5 freshman. You talk about numbers, seven points a game, 5.7 rebounds, three assists, 1.6 steals, and 1.4 blocks. That's pretty good numbers right Those there. Those are real good numbers. Number two, Nick Pichon, 6'3", senior at 8.4. Number four is Dominic Lynch, a, nine, a, a six foot senior at 9.6 and 4.3 rebounds. Number 23 is Trenick Bur or Beckett Berkey. He's a 6'4", sophomore, 6'4", Jerry. He warmed up. He's a little bigger than 6'4". Yeah, yeah, I know. 21.5 and 8.4 for him. And Alex Goldberry wears number 34. He is a 6'3", senior, averaging 3.4 points per game. For the Elida Bulldogs, Matt Tabor's team. Number zero, Zori Island. He is a junior, averaging 11 points a game, three assists and four steals. Number one, Seth Sharp. He's a senior, averaging 5.3 points per game. Number four is Amari Wash. He is a sophomore, averaging 12 a game, two steals and three assists. Number 13, Jackson Kovalt. He is a senior, six and a half points per game. And number 31 is David Etzkorn. He is a senior at 11.4 points per game and four rebounds. First game was won by Shawnee way back on December 1st, 53-49. Elida had a lead that got away from him. Shawnee came back and won. 
Round two coming up right now. Yeah, and I was really looking forward to this game all along. We had Elida earlier in the year. Very capable. I love their balance. They're, they're able to get big numbers out of a lot of people. And again, Shawnee playing well. Yes, they are. So what a game this should be. Our officials tonight, Reyes Ramirez, Austin Cape, and Steve Trout. Austin Cape will toss the basketball in just a moment. And while we get set, they honor the pep band director, Mr. John Stetler, 22 years. Pep bands, what a great part of the high school basketball. You know, and I, I've always said this, Northwest Ohio has it so good, the involvement of the communities. And again, I was very glad to see them honor him. Berkey tips in the backcourt. It goes off the hands of Amari Wash, and it will go to the Shawnee Indians first. Yeah, right away, now, you're going to see Eli to pick up full court. Now, we've got a discussion, Jerry. Possession arrow, because if Wash possessed the basketball, it'll be Shawnee ball out of bounds, and they will also get the first arrow, and that's what the discussion is about the scores table. And I think that's the way it should be. I think he had possession, didn't he? That if he had possession, that's the way it should be. Coach Tripp will have a little discussion with Steve Trout. Here's Berkey to inbound the basketball. This is Beckett Berkey. And it goes into the backcourt to Dominic Lynch. And right away, here comes Elida's pressure. Beckett Berkey. And that's this something is Beckett Elida's, right here. Yeah, and that's something Eli is so good at, is good, good, solid pressure. Three ball, Nick Pichon check out, and Seth Sharp rebounds for Elida. How about Kovalt's check out on that backside? Koval gives it up to Etzcorn. David heads to the rim, spin move, shot in the lane. He will draw our first contact of the game, and that means our first free throws. Our free throw sponsor tonight is Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak Delphos, and in St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, where home style happens here. You know, I mentioned early about, you know, one of the keys to the game is controlling the boards, and I've always believed that in every game. We saw a great checkout on that backside by Jackson Koval. David Escorn, who shoots 67.5% from the free throw line, has his first points of the evening. The foul was assessed to Nick Pichon. Escorn again. It's 2-0 Bulldogs early on. Travick Perkey. That's Korn hit those last two free throws. He has just such a great court sense. This is Beckett Berkey, guarded by Sharp. Pass inside, power move up, and almost an and one opportunity for Dominic Lynch. Instead, he'll get a couple of free throws. You can see the, you know, when I talked about tempo, I, I think that possession really highlights for Shawnee how they're, they're very efficient on the offensive end and just working the basketball. They don't want to get in that running game. They can run, but I don't think that's their desired way. Lynch makes his first of the faint Lee's famous recipe chicken free throws. He's a 67.7% free throw shooter, and the foul went to Amari Wash. Each team makes a pair of free throws, and we're tied at two. Here's Wash. And Zori Island will set the offense. Sharp. This is Koval who had that check out a moment ago. Etzcorn's inside. Power move up through traffic. Nice shot, David Etzcorn. He's got points three and four. Yeah, just a gutty move inside. Beckett Berkey play and bump and run down the floor with Seth Sharp, and Beckett gets called for the foul. His first, team second. Well, you know, we saw that bump there, but I, I don't think there's any doubt this is going to be a physical game. I, I you know, half court play, you know, good defense on both ends, it's going to be physical. Our good friend Mark Miller used to say, bump and run, good in football, bad in basketball. <laughs> <laughs> Here's Island trying to get to the rim. His shot's blocked by Berkey. The rebound secured. Out we come the other way. And trying to get to the rim and unable to was Tate Bender. Pass is tipped away from Berkey by Sharp. Well, right now, Elite is getting very good help side defense, good ball side pressure. Pass inside to Bender. 
The original starting lineup on the board had Alex Goldsberry. Alex did not start. Tate Bender started in his place. So that's the difference that uh, we see. There's Bender with the basketball right here. This is the Pace and Shawnee team you talked about, Jerry. Yes. Beckett Berkey spins into the lane. That young man's a sophomore, Jerry. Wow. Just controls his body so well. That's, that's what you don't see out of so many players. They're skilled, but they don't control themselves as well as he does. That's scoring, trying to get to the rim again, leaves it loose. It's picked up by Trevick Berkey, throws it ahead and to the rim, and finishing with the left hand is Nick Pichon. You know, I talked about controlling those other guys. Just look at that move and how solid that was. Wash swoops to the rim, and he's got a basket. Out in transition we go again, and once again a finish by Lynch. I think they're catching them by surprise, but yeah, I think they want they to get are. down the floor, right. Jerry. And as I said, they can run. Yes, sir. And that's why, and Garrett, really, to be honest with you, both, both, both teams are very good in the half court anyhow. Island takes a three. Back of the rims and the rebound to Lynch. 8-6 Shawnee, three minutes into this one. Well, that also is how you beat that pressure is getting the ball up quick. Trevick Berkey to the rim. He's got his first basket of the game. 10-6 steal to Beckett Berkey. And what do we get? Blocking foul that will go against Zori Island. Well, wow, there's where that height, those long arms, that long reach, you know, we're able to get that. Replays that are brought to you by Simplified Flooring. We make flooring simple. It's going to be an out-of-bounds foul. Good call. And that means that Nick Pichon will be the inbounder. Nope, it will not be Nick Pichon. Going to switch up and give it to Trevick Berkey. <laughs> How about yeah, Nick right. Dominic Lynch? <laughs> there we got it. Bob out front, Beckett Berkey. Headed to the rim. Lynch gives it up, but Islands are, but Walsh is in the way. Now to Island, and that box, shot's blocked from behind. What a block by Trevick Berkey, but then Etzcorn followed up and will draw contact. And that's what I talked about, Etzcorn having that, you know, here's a great block, but you know, you know, Johnny on the spot there for Escorn, but he also has just such good court sense. Well, Beckett Berkey now has two fouls, and we haven't played four minutes yet. And uh, Trevick Berkey, who averages 1.4 blocks a game, he's got two in the first four minutes. Yeah. Escorn's got five points on a Lee's famous recipe chicken free throw. Into the game comes Parker Krim. He wears number two for the Elida Bulldogs. Berkey took a seat, too. I'm looking to see the number of who checked in for him. Since we're all stacked up in the lane. And oh, I see now it's Dominic Ojo. Damola Ojo, 6'3", junior. Six points early on. David Etzkorn. Trevick Berkey working on Island. Step back three. Rebound falls into the hands of hustling Dominic Lynch. He's got six early on. You know, Dominic Lynch that time, that's what a good rebounder does. They just know where it's coming off at. He just finds it. He knows it when it's in the air. Wash for three. It's our first three-point field goal of the game, and Amari Wash is 18th of the season. And Amari Wash knew that was in when he let go of it. 12-11. Shawnee Indians. Lynch. Pichon trying to get to the rim, and we're going to get a blocking foul. I think Etzcorn will pick up that. Premier sponsor tonight for the Elida Bulldogs is TND Interiors for quality you can stand or visit TNT Interiors on, Interiors on Allentown Road. That basket went to Tate Bender on the in-band play. 14-11 Indians. Good movement by both teams on the offensive end. 
trying to get, you know, offensive position a little bit better by moving the basketball. Idle looking to get a screen from Krim. Into the lane he goes. That shot's knocked down. Trevick Brook, he's got three blocks early on. Ojo to the rim, kick it back out. This will be Pashone for three. And Krim gets the rebound. Here's Wash in a hurry, and they have to back it up and reset. You know, you have to credit, you know, Elida's defense. You know, they're, you know, a couple of those freebies inside and a couple drives in the lane, but on the perimeter, they've done a good job of menacing those shots. Here's Island, wants to set things up, sharp. Wash gets another three look. Etzcorn saves it, but he does so by throwing it to Bender. Pass inside, just knocked out of bounds by Sharp. Here comes number 24, Max Goldsberry, into the game for Shawnee. Kovalt returns as well. You know, Mark, the pace of this is a lot faster than I thought it would be. I, I, and well controlled. Comes the inbounder, Bender, he looks. And lobs it into the corner. I would agree with that 100%, Jerry. Here's a pass inside. Goldsberry gets a shock block from behind by Krim. Escorn rebounds. Both teams have shown they can go in pace, and when they need to slow down and work, they can do that. Here's Krim working inside. Spin move, powers up through traffic, and will draw contact. Tough to defend on the inside when you've got that size. Let me see who they assessed the foul to. There were a couple of players there. It will go to Alex Goldsberry, his first, team's fourth of the quarter. Krim to the free throw line. I remember when we watched Krim last, last time we had him. He does such a good job with a ball fake. It's a very strong young man inside as Pashone comes back into the basketball game. I think that the fair thing to say, Jerry, is his offensive skills are raw. Wait till you see him next year. Yes. With another year of varsity experience. That one swims out on him. Berkey rebounds. Already a solid defender and rebounder, and his offensive skills are only going to get better. Koval pressuring Berkey out front. I like Coach Tabler's philosophy on this. You know, missed free throw, whatever it is, they're still picking up. Still. Missed shot, they're picking up three-quarter court. Lynch. To the corner, Bender gets a three, look. Tate Bender's ninth three-point field goal of the season gives him five points on the game, makes the lead six for the Indians. Sharp goes baseline. Kovalt with a shot in the lane. Berkey rebounds. Isn't that one of the toughest shots, I think, in basketball? A little three, four-footer with, you know, you can't use the backboard, really. Bender had a look at three, turned it down. Coach Triplett calls a set with 50 seconds to go in the opening quarter. Berkey. They're giving Lynch. nothing easy to Trevick Berkey. Nothing easy. Comes off a screen, hounded by Kovalt. Heads to the rim. Etzcorn helps cut him off and throws away out on top. This will be a three ball from Pashone. Rebound, Goldsberry. He will fight it back up. And it rolls out on him. Sharp rebounds. Bulldogs will get the last shot of the opening quarter. I don't know, at this pace, maybe not. Uh, that's a good point, Jerry. <laughs> Wash hounded out front by Lynch. To the rim he goes, his wow. shot goes. Wash has got seven in the opening quarter. And the first eight minutes are in the book. 17 for Shawnee, 13 Elida. You're watching high school basketball on WOSN. Tonight's scoreboard sponsor is Web Insurance Agency, serving Lima and Allen County for more than 100 years with offices in downtown Lima and in Bluffton. Our replay sponsor tonight is Simplified Flooring. We make flooring simple. Mark Shine, Jerry Snodgrass. A little bit of excitement in the first quarter, Jerry. You, you know, we talked about late in the season, last game of the regular season. You know, maybe kids are a little tired, you know, they're a little physically and mentally exhausted. It sure doesn't show. 
Leading scorer in the basketball game is Tate Bender. He's got five. He's the leading scorer for Shawnee. Amari Wash has seven. Escorn has six. Koval goes to the rim and scores his first basket of the game. Dominic Lynch also has six this evening. Cuts it lead to two. Jump shot out of the corner, rattles around. Seth Sharp gets the rebound. Comes Ori Island, Sharp. Evan Jackson has checked in for Elida at the quarter break. He wears number 23. And you know, Evan Jackson was on Berkey that time, you know, now that he's come into the game. But they're doing a good job of, you know, running different guys in on him, on Berkey. Seth Sharp gets into the lane. Krim battles for the rebound, but ends up in Bender's hands. Tonight's quarter sponsor for quarter number two is Lima Chevrolet Cadillac, the area's premier Chevrolet and Cadillac dealer in the greater Lima area, serving Lima for over 100 years. We are proud to call this home. Coach chose to leave Beckett Berkey on the bench to start the quarter with his two fouls. Deal. Here's Trevick. Mari Wash is out of the game, too, you know, taking a breather, I think. Goldsberry gets a three, look. Good check out again. They've yeah. done that very well, haven't they, Jerry? They sure have. And, again, good pressure on the shot, too. Zori Island trying to tie it up. Koval gets a three. Might get the lead. Bounces off the back of the rim. Krim and Sharp with it. Sharp turnaround jumper. No. Krim with another rebound. Nope. Ball's taken away from him by Bender. Bender's been very active, yes, Jerry, he the time he's been. played. Two minutes into quarter, number two. Here's Bender, and we're going to get a foul. Going to be out of bounds. See who that call goes against. First foul this quarter. You know, too, Mark, I really I, I love what both teams are doing, too. They're, you know, they're not just dribble driving, trying to go through people to get to the hole. They're, they're doing it on ball reversals. They're doing it on cutters from the weak side to the ball. And when they don't have it, they're patient, take it back out and try it again. Both so, teams doing that very well. A bit of concern for Elida. Zori Island's picked up his second foul. Good check out again. Escorn comes and gets the rebound. See what set. Coach Tabor called a set. And let's see what he runs. This is Kovalt. They ran a backdoor cut to Wash. Somebody got a hand on it with a red jersey. We'll go the other way. They had it. I mean, he had nobody on the help side to stop him. On top it goes to Lynch and Trevick Berkey. Lynch again into the lane, into a lot of traffic, and to get a travel call will go against him. I think a little late whistle, but I think that was the right call. It looked like he definitely took an extra step on that. A replay tonight is brought to you by Simplified Flooring. We make flooring simple. Amari Wash, the sophomore guard. He had nine when these two teams played back in December. Krim inside. Left-handed shot. Rebounds his own. Fights it back up. When a man that big gets off the floor that quickly, Jerry. Yes. Like you said, just wait a year and see what skills that guy has. Dominic Lynch will get his first foul, and Krim will go back to the free throw line. And the other thing I love to say, a multi-sport athlete. Absolutely. Tonight's free throw sponsor is Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and in St. Mary's. You can call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, where home style happens here. Second free throw. Parker Krim. Bender got the rebound. And Trevick Berkey will advance the ball. Bender and Island. Island's got two fouls, remember. Run him off a couple screens. Here's a three. Ojo went high for the rebound and went and got it. Here's Lynch to the rim. Got bothered a little bit by Krim. Koval rebounds. Wash to the fifth free throw line area and buries another one. He's got nine in the game. You know, what a good job, you know, because 
You know, it looked like he was going to penetrate, but the lane was packed with people. He just kind of went laterally and got that short jumper. We're tied at 17. We played four minutes, and Shawnee's not scored in quarter number two. Pichot headed to the baseline and got cut off and lost the ball out of bounds. Here comes Seth Sharp back into the game. Our premier sponsor tonight for the Elida Bulldogs is John Stocker DDS, providing dental care for high school and sports fans. Here's Wash. Elida can take the lead on this possession. They weave out front. Etzcorn pull up jumper. Bothered by somebody, size. Yeah, I think he got a little piece of that too. Outlet pass to Lynch. And then Shawnee will set. Lynch off a of Burke key screen, gets a tip loose by Koval. Wash picks it up and goes to the rim. He's a double figure score with 11. You know, the other thing on that, you know, untold, unseen, Jackson Koval kind of, you know, was a screen on that coming down, so there's no way somebody could, it was one of the Burke keys could block it. It's 6 0 Elida this quarter with five minutes gone. Shawnee with a patient possession. Pichon, now Lynch on the wing. Bender gets a three. Look at that box out. Seth Sharp was perfect box out, wasn't he? Yep. That allowed his team to rally to the basketball. And Wash has it. Kovalt. Etzkorn to the rim. High over traffic. Bounces out. Krim high for the rebound. And that's a good job that time by Amari Wash bringing that out, resetting. He, he looked like he'd go to the rim, realized yep. it wasn't there, said, I'm going to reset this thing. Here he is again with the basketball. It's been a quick quarter, not many breaks. No. That's corn for three. Ball bounced over the backboard, and that will allow Alex Goldsberry to enter. And as he... Does so. Beckett Berkey comes back in two minutes to go. He's missed a significant amount of time with fouls. Yes, and you know, you know, it's amazing, but just those few substitutions right there, the pace of this game and how physical, that's a much needed breather. Just for a 30 second period of time there. Bender with the basketball. A lot of action, not many points on the board this quarter. Double teamed on the sideline. Here's a pass. That ball goes inside. Scramble for it. And we're going to get a held ball. Sharp, Krim, and Bender had a hold of it. And it will be Shawnee Indian basketball with 1.53 to go in the quarter. We have not had any timeouts today. Our timeouts are brought to you by Metzger Financial Services, helping you plan your financial future. Call 419. Splash. Tate Bender makes a three ball, and we will get a Metzger Financial Services timeout. You're watching high school basketball on WOSN. Tonight's timeouts are brought to you by Metzger Financial Services, helping you plan your financial future. Call 419-225-6067 or visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. First timeout, Jerry. Under two minutes to go here. In fact, we're looking at 149 in the second quarter. Yeah, you know, a much-needed break for those teams. And, you know, the other part of that, too, Tate Bender hit that last three. Yes. 5.5 points a game. Yes. But that's guys like him, we talked about him earlier. You did mention how all over the court he was and how critical he was. It's a big three. He's, all, he's only made eight on the season. Right. He's got a two of those tonight. He's got ten now on the season. Stepping up in a big time. And, you know, when, like you said, only that many on the year, but they're not afraid to take that shot when they're open. Love that confidence. With a couple of fouls, Beckett Berkey sat down at that timeout. Here's Sharp off a screen. He pulls up with a jumper that bounces around. Krim high for the rebound and muscles up and scores his first basket. Elida back in the lead by one. Trevick Berkey trying to work against Koval. And they're just giving him nothing easy. Cleared out on this side for him. To the rim he goes. Has to kick it back out to Ojo. I think they this thought is, there was a travel on that. Yeah, this is Bender that we just talked about a moment ago. He's matched up with that score, and now they find Berkey. Bender again. 
And Ojo. Pichon was trying to get loose and got fouled. It's going to be the third foul, the quarter by Elida, and it will be the second on Amari Wash. He and Zori Island each have two. And being an offensive possession, it becomes Beckett Berkey back in. You know, Etzcorn is such a good defensive player, and one of the things he does so well is, you know, he might be on that help side, but, you know, he's always there. Good court vision to see, you know, where that other person is at so he can help out. Pichon into the lane. He goes to stripped away, but I think we're going to get foul number three on Amari Wash. If my mistake, it goes to Jackson Kovalt, his first foul. That's good for Elida. Yeah, it is. They need Amari Wash on the court. Trevick Berkey looks, finds brother Beckett. Spin move. Beckett, left-handed move. Hard to stop that it one. It really is. Limited playing time. Beckett's got four points now. And let's see if Elida chooses to play last shot of the opening half. They trail by a point. See Coach Tabler calling a yep. set on the sideline. And Out Coach Triplett come. setting his defense up. Bender switches out to get Wash. Wash in the lane. Jumper. He's got 13 in the opening quarter. He averages 11.8. Shawnee to get the last shot of the opening half. Trevick Berkey was going to the rim. It's a block call. It will go against Krim. Yeah, I don't think it's, you know, he was in perfect spot, but his feet were moving. I think we see that. Yeah, you're going to see that here. I think his feet were, yeah, it kind of went into him. That's his first foul and just the team's fourth. That was what you call a serious collision. Yeah. Pichon will be the inbounder. Shawnee wants to get a basket and see if they can go up at the break. We're going to get a little timeout here. Beckett Brookie noticed some perspiration on the floor. We're going to see if we get a, a mop out and get that taken care of. Really nice to get those replays tonight. They're sponsored by Simplified Flooring. We appreciate that. Our scoreboard night sponsored by Web Insurance Agency. We appreciate them. It's 23-22, Elida with two Point eight seconds to go. You know, Mark, when we come here to Elida, I will tell you <laughs> this. I, I love the familiarity with yep. the same people working to score a table. I mean, just everything about it. I just love this place. Pichon lobs it way out on top. Trevick Berkey, deep three. And that is how the opening 16 minutes will come to an end. It's 23 for Elida, 22 for Shawnee. Halftime coming up. You're watching high school basketball on WOSN. We're back at the Union Bank Court here at the Elida Fieldhouse. Mark Shine and Jerry Snodgrass. Our, sec our halftime show is brought to you today by State Bank. Contact the State Bank for all your banking and financial service needs. Visit yourstatebank.com. Member FDIC and equal housing lender. Jerry, a whole lot of excitement for a 23-22 game at halftime. You know, it sure is. The pace has been fast. You know, it's been aggressive. I still go back to, I think rebounding has been one of the biggest keys for Elida so far to give them that one point lead. Parker Krim has three offensive boards, and he didn't even start. And and uh, Seth Sharp has six defensive boards. Yes. So I think those, and they're keeping Shawnee away from the boards. They're out rebounding Shawnee right now. And I think that's, I still think that's a big key and the good outside pressure. Well, Jerry, before we get to the stat page that the of people handle this, there are three key players in this game who finished half with two fouls, but fortunately not three. Yeah, that's a good we thought, Berkey and, and Island and, and Wash. Yeah, we thought Wash picked up his third there. Yeah. That, that would be a game changer. I think either one is going to be a game changer if they pick up their third. But you can come in here now in the quarter number three and you can go full tilt because you only have two. That so that's a good correct. thing. Yep. You've got a stat page in front of you. What what jumps off of you? You mentioned rebounding already. What else do you see there? Uh, the other part that I, I see, you know, is, you know, for the most well, again, overall rebounding, the 15 13 advantage by Shawnee. And again, I know sometimes I overemphasize that, but. You know, overall, too, you, you look at shooting percentages, um, you, you know, and it's fairly even. But I just don't think, you know, statistically speaking, Shawnee is not shooting as well. But I think that's just due to the good defensive pressure. And I think that's what's keeping not only Elida in the game, 
but actually right now with a one-point lead. Well, what we're looking at here is Elida had a 10-5 advantage here in quarter number two, but I wanted to highlight a couple of things. One of them you mentioned already a little bit, and that is some people have stepped up because Beckett Berkey was out with foul trouble, and yet Tate Bender steps up. He's averaging five and a half points a game. He's got 80 clean, two big three-point field goals. Yeah, and you know I mentioned something I just love about a player. He took the one shot that he hit, uh, one th the one three, you know, he's open, but just you could see the confidence in his face. And to me, that's instilled by coaches. I just think, you know, yep. you're not afraid to miss. You're not afraid to miss a shot. And I think that's a – he's been wonderful in that well, first The time. other thing I want to mention, Jerry, I mean, we can see that Amari Wash has 13. I like guys who can influence the game without scoring points, and that's Zori Island tonight for Elijah. You're exactly right. He does so many things that don't show up on a stat sheet, and you got to have – you have to have players like that. He does a great job with it. Okay, we've got the second half coming up for you in just a moment. Our halftime today has been brought to you by the State Bank. Contact the State Bank for all your banking and financial service needs. You can visit statebank.com. Member FDIC equal, equal housing lender. It's Elida 23. It's Shawnee 22 at half. You're watching high school basketball on WOSN. Our third quarter sponsor today is Lima Chevrolet Cadillac, the area's premier Chevrolet and Cadillac dealer in the greater Lima area, serving Lima for over 100 years. We are proud to call this our home. Elida basketballs. We start quarter number three. They also have a one-point lead. This is Amari Wash. He of 13 points at scoring. Both teams going with the starting lineup. Island going to the rim. Zori Island goes off glass yeah, for his first basket. Hand. Elida's lead goes to three. It was a 10-5 second quarter in favor of Elida. It took them to that one-point lead. Trevick Berkey with the basketball. He looks down inside to Beckett Berkey. Koval tips it away, and Island gets the basketball. Island to the rim, and... Took it right into the defender and scored, Jerry. He did not back off one bit on that. He wasn't going to give him room to block a shot with his long arm. Took the ball right into his body. I'm just going to say, I loved how he used his body on that. Absolutely. Here's Berkey. His team trails by five. Beckett Berkey inside. Look at, look at the hands Koval every doubled time. down again. Now the corner is Pashon. Berkey rebounds. Beckett up strong, and he will draw a foul. But that's been such a key on that inside, though. You know, it's every time that ball gets dumped down to him, there's a million hands in there. Sharp gets a foul, and we'll go to the free throw line. Free throws today are sponsored by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and in St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, where home style happens here. Beckett Berkey shoots 78.3% from the free throw line. And he just upped that by a little bit, making the first free throw. He's got five in the game now after spending significant time on the bench with foul trouble in the opening half. Shot number two. That one also goes six for him. He averages 21 and a half. That's scoring, trying to get to the rim and score. Couldn't score against Lynch, and Lynch takes it the other way. Trevick Berkey to the rim, sharp rebounds. Sharp has been all around the glass, hasn't he? That one's knocked loose. Good play by Pashone. Trevick Berkey missed a three. And Pashone score almost. I thought that was going to go down, Jerry. I did too. <laughs> Instead, he'll get a pair of free throws. You know, we haven't seen that many turnovers in the game, no. you know, that were, I don't want to call them unforced, but, you know, bad passes or anything like that. That's probably about the first one I've seen that's just been a errant pass that got tipped. Pashone shoots 68% from the free throw line. Yeah, in the opening half, Shawnee had five turnovers to Elida's four. As that free throw becomes the third point for Nick Pashone. I'm going to throw a prop out. Both of these coaches send me stats all the time, and I really appreciate it. I'm a stat nerd, and I really like reading stats, and these two guys are really good at getting stuff to me. Yes, they are. You know, not only to you, but they're good. It came over before the game. Yes. You know, I mean, just you just love that in high school basketball. Tonight's premier sponsor is T&D Interior. For quality you can stand on, visit T&D Interiors on Allentown Road. Here's Island to the rim again. He's got three of those this quarter. 
Now I'm talking at halftime about he influences the game without scoring. Now he's got six in the first two minutes. Well, just the way he's doing it, though. He's protecting the ball, using his body so well. Tip loose by Koval. Etzcorn's headed to the rim. Berkey's trying to track him down. Berkey almost got it. Instead, Etzcorn has points seven and eight. Just the quick hands by Elida. It's back to a five-point lead. And we're going to get a foul. Tonight's nice instant replay sponsor is Simplified Flooring. We make flooring simple. And the foul will go to Seth Sharp. That's sec Seth second, but third of the quarter already. Just two minutes and 18 seconds into quarter three. You know, boy, you get Zori Island doing that, and then all of a sudden, you know, you free up Amari Wash a little bit. See, look at the hands on that. They're just, just all over that. Berkey to the rim, and we're going to get an offensive foul that's going to go against Beckett Berkey and becomes his third foul. Look at the defense on this, Jerry, as we see it again. Just lowered that shoulder. You know, I think that was the whole thing. I mean, you know, he wasn't really right. He was just staying with him, but the second he lowered that shoulder and got him off of him, that's where the foul was picked up. So he has three in the game. Seth Sharp just took a break as Parker Krim came in. Seth has played very well this evening around the glass. Island with his team up five. This is Parker Krim inside. Berkey has to be careful. Nice pass at Island scored again. And that's going to be a Shawnee Metzger Financial Services timeout. You're watching high school basketball on WOSN. We're back at the Elida Fieldhouse. John Stocker, DDS, is tonight's premier sponsor for the Elida Bulldogs, providing dental care for high school sports fans. Mark Shine, Jerry Snodgrass, seven-point lead. Sean, he needed a timeout. Yeah, they did. You know, once again, they're just playing with a lot of confidence, playing with a lot of aggressiveness. Look to see who's back in the basketball game. I guess he's going to go with his starting lineup. Berkey's here with three fouls, but they need him right now yeah, down by do. seven. Yeah, they definitely do. And you know the other thing, players like him, they're, they're smart players. They know how to play with three fouls. That's oh, yeah. one of the things. Elida went to Parker Krim last time with Berkey guarded him. He made a nice pass out of it instead of getting drawn, trying to draw a foul. Here's Trevick Berkey. And back to Beckett with Koval guarding him. Koval's done a nice job in that role tonight. Off the screen, he goes baseline, pull up jumper off glass and scores. And what a good job he did by controlling himself there. There's a steal. Bender, Trevick Berkey to the rim. His left-handed shot's going to go. We're going to get an and one. Here comes Shawnee. What a quick turnaround after that timeout. Talk about good timeouts. Absolutely. The foul will go to Zori Island, who now has three fouls in the game. Some more Lee's famous recipe chicken free throws. You can find them in Lima, Wapak, Delphos, and in St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's famous recipe chicken where home style happens here. Trevick Berkey has four points in the game, looking at five if he can knock this one in. And we talk about a quick rally. Yeah. Seth Sharp back in the game for the Bulldogs, too, gives Jackson Koval a rest. And part of that is just to keep the pressure on physically, you know, on both Berkey's. A little bit of conversation between officials, officials, and uh, official and coaches, Here's Coach Tabler right there. Coach Triplett's having a conversation with uh, one of the officials as well. Berkey's free throw bounces out. Etzcorn rebounds. Here's Wash, 13 in the opening half, scoreless so far in half number two. Etzcorn in the corner, fakes, goes baseline. Jumps over everybody. Good job by Berkey not to get a foul. Numbers the other way for the red team. Elida, however, hustles back before they can get a shot attempt. This is Lynch. Becca Berkey spins and will be fouled before the shot attempt. You know, they're doing a really good job, Shawnee. You know, they right now are posting uh, uh, Beckett Berkey into the paint there and, and, you know, really giving him free reign 
I, and that's a good job of trying to take advantage of him on the inside. Well, we're four minutes to go in the quarter, Jerry, and that is Seth Sharp's third foul, and it's also the fifth team foul. Shawnee can shoot free throws for the rest of the quarter, wow. and they are a 73% free throw shooting team on the season. Nine points now for Beckett Berkey. I know it's early, but I think this next possession for Elida is so critical, too. Makes that one as well. He's got 10. Down to a one-point lead. It was eight just a moment yeah, ago. just like that. It was eight, exactly. A minute and eight seconds ago, it was eight. Here's Island looking for a screen from Krim, and they're going to reset. Island into the lane. His shot will bounce around, get the home court roll. He's got 10 all in the quarter. Tonight's scoreboard is sponsored by Webb Insurance Agency, serving Lima and Allen County for more than 100 years with offices in downtown Lima and in Bluffton. He's got a scramble on the floor for the ball and held ball. Yep. And once again, though, those quick hands on the inside. Yeah. It will stay with Shawnee. Tonight's premier sponsor also is TND Interiors. For quality you can stand on, visit TND Interiors on Allentown Road. I was in there this week. I was in TND Interiors. Oh, wow. Yeah, about that. We're looking at some flooring, maybe. Back at Berkey. Trevick Berkey thought about a three and didn't take it. His team trails by three on the Web Insurance Agency scoreboard. Beckett Berkey lost his balance and traveled. A little bit of sportsmanship there as Seth Sharp helps him up. Kovalt re-enters. You know, I'm not sure I'd want to handle the ball out in the perimeter with those guys. <laughs> That's corner will get a break. Coach Tabler has played six and Eben Jackson a little bit. That would be his seventh. Likewise, on the other side, Coach Triplett's played to six a lot this evening, and Goldsberry played a little bit as well. So both teams really short bench this evening in a warm gymnasium and a lot yeah. of it at activity. And skating to the rim, getting his first basket of the second half is Amari Wash with 15. I really like how he controls himself on the inside. You know, stops yep. on a dime, goes up without an offensive foul. Step back. That Beckett Berkey, shot. that was really pretty. He's got 12, eight and a quarter. Zori Island, and that ball was kicked by Trevick Berkey. Nope, Ooh, we got an offensive really? foul. I followed the path of the ball. I Let's take a look too. at it again. Here we go. Good call. Yeah, it was. Zori Island picked up foul number four with an offensive foul as he collided with Beckett Berkey. And that's going to be a problem because yeah. Zori's going to have to set for a while. Escorn comes back in. Escorn, really good player, but the roles are different for these two, they what they sure do for are. their team. Story Island had 10 points all in this quarter. And his team leads by three with 2.43 to go. Let's see how the rest of this quarter plays out, how long before he can get back in the game. Trevick Berkey. Beckett. He's got eight in the quarter. Lynch into the lane and looking for the call. Yeah. I must have got him on the arm. Jackson Kovalt will be called for the foul into the free throw line. We'll go Dominic Lynch. And if you notice, Dominic's been limping a little bit here yes, this he quarter. I didn't see when that occurred, but I have noticed it a little bit. Dominic shoots 68% from the free throw line. He made a pair of free throws back in the opening quarter. The foul went to Etzcorn, not Kovalt. It was 31, not 13. So. My apologies as the free throw goes in, his seventh point. Goldsberry back into the game. This is Alex. Dominic Lynch for a second lead. Famous recipe chicken free throw. Rims out, rebound. Goldsberry just checked in. Shawnee score, tie it up or take the lead. This is Goldsberry. Just came in. He's going to take a three look. He had to. How about that? You know, you know what, Jerry? That's his second of the year. Yeah. 
And he puts his team up one. You know he had to. He laid off of him. He had an open shot. You've got to take it. Shawnee crowd comes to life as their team takes the lead. And Wash goes to the rim, but before he can get there, his coach calls a Metzger Financial Services timeout. You're watching high school basketball on WOSN. We're back at the United Fieldhouse. Tonight's timeouts are brought to you by Metzger Financial Services, helping you plan your financial future. Call 419-225-6067 or visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. Tonight's scoreboard tonight is brought to you by Web Insurance Agency, serving Lima and Allen County for more than 100 years with offices in downtown Lima and in Bluffton. A much-needed Eli to timeout. Here. Well, you know, after that last timeout by Shawnee, they go on a run, so we'll see how that timeout works for Eli. You're right, much needed. Evan Jackson entered the game during that. Koval with a little flip shot that goes in. Jackson Koval now has four in the game, and his team takes the lead. He just does little things. You know, I... Little things, but they're big things. He just does a great job of, you know, you know, he's not real flashy. Yeah, good out of bounds play by the done. coach too, right there at the time. Mark. Yes, Goldsberry's going to get another three, and there's that check out again. That score heads the other way, and stolen. Good hands that time by Dominic Lynch. You know, I haven't said enough about Dominic Lynch either. I, I, I like the way he plays. He's just like a good floor general even though he's not in that point guard spot. Bender, nice first half for him tonight. He has baseline. Gets cut off by Wash and Jackson and miscommunicated on a pass. He tried to throw to Alex Goldsberry. Yeah, he goes down in that paint, and there were four white jerseys inside that paint where he went. As you were talking about Lynch a moment ago, we have to pick a Stouty Hustle Award winner tonight, and that's going to be a really difficult it challenge. Sure is. That will be a part of our post-game show coming up tonight, brought to you by Lima Chevrolet Cadillac. Koval, his team's up one. He goes baseline again. At Scorn. Koval's head to the rim. And Koval goes up and scores back-to-back -back baskets. He's got six in the game. There's Elida back up yeah. three. What a game, Jerry. Timeouts are valuable. Goldsberry, Pashon with a three look. Yeah, he didn't have his feet set real well coming off that screen. Good think shot. He, but... he did have his feet set. Parker Krim, who soared yeah. for that rebound. Yeah. <laughs> now here's Elida to play last shot of the quarter. Wash. To the rim he goes. Underhand scoop shot. He's got 17 in the game, but Shawnee will get the last shot now. Trevick Berkey working against Koval. To the rim he goes. Trevick Berkey, oh, he's got six now. That will make it a 43-40 line to lead it to break. You're watching high school basketball on WOSN. We're back at the Union Bank Court here at the Elida Fieldhouse. Quarter number four is sponsored by Lima Chevrolet Cadillac, the area's premier Cadillac and Chevrolet dealer in the greater Lima area. Serving Lima for over 100 years, we are proud to call this home. It's a 2018 Elida quarter, Jerry, and they lead by three as we head to the fourth. You know, so many times when we ended that third quarter, you know, we see big time scores that have big scoring averages and so capable. You know, sometimes when they're shut down, you say, well, you know, where's that at? Well, they don't see how hard it is to earn a shot like that. Here's Zori Island back into the game. He has four fouls. Had a really nice quarter going. He's headed to the rim again and kicks it back out to Sharp. And back to Koval it goes. Koval to the rim. He's got eight now. Three drives to the basket for him. has given him six here in the second half. You know, when we see that, we see Wash, we see Island, all of those shots on the inside, they've done a very good job of getting it over that tall timber. Five-point Bulldog lead. Ball's loose, Krim picks it up, Parker Krim. And he wisely will throw it back to Koval, who goes to the rim again and scored again. He's a double-figure scorer. I'm wondering how they're getting it through there and into the, you know, over those blocks. We saw so many blocks early in the game. Jackson Koval, who averages six and a half a game, now has ten. He's got eight in the second half and pushes the lead to seven. 
And the ball goes awry, and Elida will get the basketball. Here comes Dominic Lynch into the game, and also a Metzger Financial Services timeout for Mark Triplett. You're watching high school basketball on WOSN. That was a Metzger Financial Services timeout. John, D, John Stocker, DDS, is tonight's premier sponsor for the Elida Bulldogs, providing dental care for high school sports fans. It's a seven-point Elida lead. Shawnee has taken their third timeout. Mark, we talked about what a great game this is, but, you know, this is a great game on every facet of the game. Offense, defense, rebounding. What, what a clinic. Both teams really tuning it up as we head to the tournament. Island shot over Berkey. Krim battling for the rebound, but it comes into the hands of Bender. Shawnee needs points. Pichon's got to look at three right out of the timeout. Nick Pichon has his 34 three-point field goal of the season, cuts the lead to four. Isn't it amazing how high school kids adjust and, you know, react and, and come out of a timeout and do what they do? Krim moves on Berkey and scores. That was pretty. Nice footwork by the wow. big fella. He's how big? Whoa. Here's Bender on the wing. The lead's at six. Beckett Berkey looking inside. Another three that's going to go off. That misses everything, but Trevick Berkey rebounds. Missed a shot. Tipped around. Berkey gets it back again. He's got eight in the game. Good persistence, Shawnee. Kovalt and now Island. Yep. Cobalt got called yep. for the illegal screen. Yep. Saw it coming. <laughs> yes, we did. And so did Steve Trout because yeah. it was right in front of him. Jackson Cobalt now has four fouls himself, and that's a key factor. Escorn's going to come back in the game for Jackson. He's had a really nice basketball game, especially in the last three quarters. Yes, he has. Shawnee trailing by four. And uh, Bender. Tate will advance the basketball. And that's tipped out of bounds by Island. Even there, though, the quick hands. Mm -hmm. I, you know, just nothing safe. Trevick Berkey, Krim guarding him way out high. Beckett Berkey on the baseline. Turns into the lane and will get called for an offensive foul. Beckett Berkey now has four fouls. They have played him well when he wants to turn to that shoulder. They sure do. And, you know, that comes from scouting, and we're going to see this here on the replay. And right there he turns and, and just, yep, right there. Tonight's instant replay sponsor is Simplified Flooring. We make flooring simple. So now he has four fouls, joining Zori Island and Jackson Kovalt with that situation. But you know what, Mark? You want to know what kind of a kid you're coaching when you have him? Mm -hmm. He just hustles right and down the floor, doesn't say a word about it. Goes down to the other end and plays. Takes a negative, and he knows he has to turn it into a positive, and there's nothing better. Amari Wash with the basketball. Take Bender guarding him. Little weave out front. Island turns the corner, and bounce passes it out. Battle for it. Pichon gets it, and he will be fouled by Parker Krim. Parker Krim has two fouls. His team has a couple now here in the fourth quarter. You know, Shawnee has just one foul in the quarter. That was an offensive foul a moment ago. You know, that could be critical, you know, going down mm -hmm. the stretch, free throw shooting. Shawnee, a good free throw shooting team. Bender, team trails by four. Trevick Berkey. Pichon now with it. Or Lynch, excuse me, that's Pichon. Dominic Lynch working on Island, and we're going to get an offensive foul. Here it is again on our instant replay, brought to you by Simplified Flooring. Lynch gets foul number two. And you know, while we're cleaning up the floor, Dave Evans, the AD here, who has run tournaments forever. Yep. The district... Boys week, girls, regional week. They have games in this field house for this crew Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. 
and Tuesday, Wednesday, and Saturday are doubleheaders. Wow. What a crew they have here to put tournaments on. One of my favorite places for yep. tournaments. And that's what I said earlier, you know, and I don't think people, having lived the life of an AD, a tournament manager, and, you know, even a statewide administrator, people don't realize how tough that is. Berkey tips the ball out of bounds, trying to get it inside the crim with 4-11 to go. And, you know, what, what he's doing is he's doing that for Elida. Yes. And, and just and like you and I both say, what a great place to come to, so do those schools. Yes. It's a really wonderful facility, and he's got a great staff here. It helps him put all that together, too. Here's Island inbound. Bounce pass. Sharp goes up through traffic and missed. Krim battles for the rebound, but Pichon gets it. Missed a good opportunity there. With a lot of hands in front of him. Escorn got a hand on it. Now Sharp and got a hell ball, ball situation. Arrow will favor Shawnee. Coach Taylor said I was trying to call timeout. Of course, all the officials are focused yeah. at the other end, so yeah. that would be difficult <laughs> in a noisy gym for him to do. You know, Mark, I won't belabor the point, but I will say this when you talk about Elida. I'm coming in here tonight, and, and as I'm pulling in, and I'm pulling in to, you know, back off Beatty Road and all that, all of a sudden, you see the water tower. Yep. How many towns put <laughs> the school logo yeah. on there in their school colors? I, we take that stuff for granted, but that's so cool. Beckett Berkey in the low post. He spins in the lane. I think Sharp pushed him. They're Let's gonna, see what the call is. Yeah, they're going to give him yep. shots. Yep. Well, now Seth Sharp has four fouls. For things are mounting up a bit for Coach Tabler. And to the free throw line will go Beckett Berkey as four for four there this evening. They're giving him shots. Yeah, they are. Going to call it a shooting foul. Well, the rule book says if you're loaded up to shoot, then that's the foul occurs. That's why you shoot them. I, Here's Berkey. He's got 12 points in the game. Make it 13. Guess the officials in the stands don't like it. Thanks to Ali's famous recipe free throw. Well, the ones wearing black and orange, the oh, ones true. wearing black and red, they thought it was a good call. Here comes Evan Jackson into the game. Coach Tabler trying to balance some guys with foul troubles right now and 3.47 to go. Yeah, they're not going to be on the bench too long. Depends on if they can hold that lead or not. Berkey's got 14 now and is perfect at the free throw line. Damola Ojo enters, and Berkey will get a break. He's played with four fouls for a bit of time. Yeah, same there. Same you know, thing. Gonna, yes, sir. They're, they're going to give him a little breather, and like they get down probably about that two-and-a-half mark. They're coming in. Here's Elida, two-point lead. There's a steal. Bender jumped right in the passing lane and goes to the rim and missed. Battle for the rebound. It will go off of Ojo as he was battling inside with a couple of Elida Bulldogs. Good job by Ojo to battle for Yes, it. sir. The ball will still go to Elida, and Amari Wash wants to talk to his coach. I'm not sure what. He's back in the game. He's spent a little time talking to coach, and uh, <laughs> the clock's running. Island, he also has four fouls. Five counts on, and I think Coach Tabor timeout. took a timeout. It's a Mexican Financial Services timeout. You're watching high school basketball on WOSN. We're at the Union Bank Court here at the Elida Fieldhouse. Tonight's free throw sponsor is Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, where home style happens here. And free throws may be really key in this one, Jerry, with a two-point game and 3.13 to go. Yes, it is. And, you know, we're both, you know, they're, they're hovering on that three fouls, two fouls. And Krim, bounce pass, wash, finishes. Great out-of-bounds play. That's a couple times they've done that coming out of timeouts, Coach Jerry. Tabler has done a great job yes. running baseline and sideline out-of-bounds plays coming out of timeouts. Pushes the lead to four with three minutes to go. Lynch, now we get to Trevick Berkey. Lynch curls off a screen. Ojo wanted to shoot, has to pull it back out. Beckett Berkey setting the scores table, wanting to get back in the game. Good patience right now by Shawnee. Trevick Berkey goes, Berkey goes baseline and floats one in. Yeah. That's a pretty shot for his ninth and tenth point. And... We're going to get a timeout, Shawnee. Metzger Financial Services timeout. 
Time, our timeout center brought to you by Mets Group Financial Services, helping you plan your financial future. You can call 419-225-6067 or visit MetsGroupFinancialServices.com. Jerry, that's a, the timeout number four for Shawnee. They have one left. There's only two fouls for Shawnee in this quarter. Elida has three, and the possession arrow favors Elida should that become an issue. Right, and, you know, we saw the basket go through. You know, our fans see the – you know, the bucket scored. Well, they don't realize it. He's got somebody coming at his stomach there, you know. And it's like a receiver going over across the middle to catch a pass in football. You know, how hard and difficult that is when you got somebody coming at you. Both of these teams are in the D2 Liberty Benton District. Elida was the number one seed. They will play on March 1st here with the winner of Defiance and Upper Sandusky. Defiance was the nine seed. Upper Sandusky was the six. Shawnee will also get a home game. They will play the winner of Van Wert, who was the 10 seed, and Salina, the number seven seed. My pleasure this week, Jerry. On Tuesday, I get to go to Salina Fieldhouse and see that Van Wert Salina game. And Salina Fieldhouse is one of my favorite places with 2.30 to go in this game. Well, I'm glad it's one of your favorite places. It was one of my worst <laughs> places to ever coach a game in. Well, there's a difference between coaching <laughs> and enjoying the experience of being in the field yeah, house. How's yeah. that? I've masked over a lot of those places I don't like. Well, right here. But I we, like, didn't like them for different reasons. Right, reasons. right here we have a two-point Elida lead, and they will bring the basketball. Now the scoreboard says they still have two, two. timeouts. Uh, maybe I made a mistake with mine. We'll check that as we go through this. Anyway, it's Elida basketball. That's scoring, going to the rim, and the shot goes high off the glass. Battle for the rebound. And Trevick Burke, he gets it and throws it out to his brother Beckett. Yeah, I think that's Corn lost the handle on it a little bit. And, you know, came close to going in off the glass. Here's Shawnee with a chance to tie or take the lead. Trevick Burke goes to the rim and missed the shot, but the rebound goes to his brother who finishes inside by Beckett. Beckett's now got 16 in the game. You know, you talk about the rebounding on that, but you know, when somebody drives to the bucket like that everybody helps you're out of rebounding position and nothing you can do about it we're approaching 90 seconds to go in this one pull up jumper island no rebound lynch shawnee you can take the lead wash out harassing lynch bender in the corner with koval guarding him Trevick Berkey backing it up. Look down inside the Beckett Berkey. Couldn't get it there. He steps out to the three point line for that one. Trevick for three. Got it. His, his first three point goal of the game gives him 13 in the game, puts his team up three. He was looking for that the whole way. Metzger Financial Services, timeout for Elida. You're watching high school basketball on WOSN. One of our premier sponsors tonight is T&D Interiors. For quality you can stand on, visit T&D Interiors on Allentown Road. Well, Jerry, they didn't get the scoreboard correct. Shawnee does have a single timeout remaining. Elida has two. It's Elida ball out of bounds. Yeah, you know, that, that three-point shot, huh. boy, that makes it, that makes it critical. You know, it's still one possession, but... Well, if you're Elida, you want to score. If you get a three, fine, but you've got to score one way or the other. A three or a two. Elida, or excuse me, Shawnee has a lot of fouls to give. They only have two should they choose to do that. Here's Wash trying to get to the rim, and shot goes up. Wash's shot misses. Lynch rebounds. Big rebound for him. Scramble for the ball, and we're going to get... It's a timeout or foul. I think the timeout came first or what? Timeout, I think. It is. Yep. Coach Triplett will use his final timeout with 21.7 to go and his team up 54-51. Boy, for all of that and that three-point shot, whoa. Well, you know, I, I've looked at this a couple times this evening. Shawnee has three three-point field goals, yeah. okay? Two of them by Tate Bender, who had eight before the game. And the big one was by Trevick Berkey. He had 13 right. on the season and makes a big one right yeah. there. And just, again, I go back to that confidence in the way they're taking it. Yeah. You know, critical time, oh, boy. Yes. <laughs> you know, but 
didn't back off at all. He had a step, had an open shot, knows he has to take it. Love that in high school players. Elida has three team fouls. They can be really super aggressive. They're going to have to pick up foul and four. If they get a steal, fine. If not, take the ball out of bounds, try it again, put them on the free throw line. Elida's got some options. And that's something they've been so good at all along is yes. the great ball pressure and have done a pretty good job of doing it without fouling. It's been a really good night at the free throw line for the, the Shawnee Indians. Trevick Berkey has missed one. Pashon has made both of his. Dominic Lynch has made three out of four. Uh, Beckett Berkey has made six for six. So their guys have shot the ball well at the free throw line if it comes down to that this evening. Well, Evan Jackson's on the ball out of bounds. And, it, and as physical as this game has been. And we're going to get an offensive, offensive foul. foul. Trying to get loose. Let's see, I, I, Okay, I, I'm going to tell you this right now. Out of bounds plays. Matt Tabler better be on every clinic you ever want to talk about. <laughs> That's right. You know, we always look at it on the offensive end. I will guarantee you he set that up at the timeout. He caught, The foul went against Tate Bender, which will be his first. And it will be Elida basketball out of bounds, and Coach Tabler's going to get a chance to yeah. run yet another out of bounds play with, with 21.7. For all you cord cutters, you can watch WSN for free with an antenna on 44.2. That's my choice. Or use our app for only $8 per month. You can sign up at app.wsn.tv. I was in the eastern part of the state earlier this year. I'm going, you know what? If I had an app, yes. instead of watching whatever's on this cable, I could be watching a basketball game on WSN. So I'm going to... I got to think about this app a little bit oh, more. I, I'm, a, I'm an app user, so there you there go. There you go. You I, got I it all figured you that, out, don't you? Yep. All right. Stay tuned when this comes to a conclusion. If it does, in fact, come to a conclusion, we'll have our post-game show brought to you by Lima Chevrolet Cadillac, and we will also present our Sally Hustle Award winner. And as oh. happens so often, it would be easier to find somebody who didn't hustle tonight than somebody right. who deserves that particular award. But we'll pick somebody out in this uh, before the game comes to an end, or as the game comes to an end anyway. You light a basketball out of bounds, and they still trail here with 21.7 to go on the clock, and they still have a timeout. Shawnee's out of timeouts, but Shawnee only has three fouls, Jerry, so they can foul here should and they he choose. And he was telling them they're going to foul. They're, they're going to foul. He was making sure they do it. Here's Island. How much time do you let it go before you call that foul? Here's Etzcorn. He tried to there. And there, nope. Ball's tipped loose. Island gets it back, and we're going to get a foul. That will be foul number four of the quarter. And it'll still be Elida basketball out of bounds, trailing by three. That goes to Tate Bender, his second. You know, now with under 10 seconds, you know, you, you, you got to get that shot off pretty quick now. And they cannot foul unless they choose to foul and put him on the free throw line instead of give the three look to him. Island. Island for three. Hits the rim. Rebound to Bender. And with point three to go. A really good defensive stand by the Shawnee Indians. You know, and I think the key on that, and I don't know if it, if it was Beckett or if it was Trevick, jumped out off of that screen and made it just impossible for a shot to come off off that screen. That was the fourth team foul on Elida, so all that uh, Shawnee needs to do is inbound the basketball, and this one will come to an end. There's the pass inbounds, and the Shawnee Indians will come back to take a 54-51 win over the Elida Bulldogs, and they will go to 16-6 and on the season, finish the Western Buckeye League at 8-1. Elida will drop to 15-7. and They will go 6-3 and in the Western Buckeye League. Jerry and I will be back in a moment. We'll talk about Stolle a little bit at the break, and we'll come back with our half uh, pass. The postgame show in just a moment. You're watching High School Basketball on WOSN. We're back at the Union Bank Court here at the Elida Fieldhouse. Tonight's postgame sponsor is Lima Chevrolet Cadillac, the area's premier Chevrolet and Cadillac dealer in the greater Lima area. Serving Lima for over 100 years, we are proud to call this home. Mark Shine, Jerry Snodgrass. Jerry, it's a 14-8 fourth quarter, and Shawnee pulls one out by three. What a game. Yes, You know, physical from the start, energy, every emotion all the way through it. There was no giving up. There was no relaxing by anybody. 
Absolutely. Well, let's present our Stolly Hustle Award winner. You can check out highlights of tonight's Stolly Hustle Award winner on the WSN YouTube page. And, Jerry, as we said a moment ago, it would be harder to find somebody, you know, who, who didn't play hard than, than somebody who did. But we looked at the stat line and the game winner, so we decided to go tonight with Trevick Berkey from Shawnee. You know, when you talk about the stat line, we're looking at that. We say, okay, game winner. Game winner. First three of the game. Then I start looking at the other things. Three blocks, two assists, no fouls in Three the game. Three steals and no fouls. Correct. And the game winner. And, you know, in a way I would say, what a silent player in its own way, you know, other than that one at the end. But, again, just plays the game, plays the game hard. And, by the way, what year is he? He is a freshman, He's man. He's a freshman. Wow. He is. Well, Jerry, yeah, I know you've got a game yet tomorrow on the WSM, but it actually sets up tournament action for both of these teams. As we said earlier, both teams will play at home. Elida will play here against the winner of Defiance at Upper Sandusky. And uh, then the Shawnee will also play at home. They get the winner of Van Wert and Salina. It's tournament time starting next week. My favorite time of the year, Jerry. It sure is, you know. And by the way, it's skunk mating season. I want you to know that. Dick, oh, yes. Dick Krause always told me yes. that. When you start seeing them, dead on the road. I hate that to say man. that, but that, <laughs> he always said, that's tournament time. That's right. Yeah, that's a good thing to remember, Jerry. I want to appreciate all the work you did this evening. We want to thank the athletic director here, uh, Mr. Dave Evans. He's super getting everything done for us. We appreciate Dave. And good luck to all the tournament games you've got coming yes. up in the next several weeks, Dave. We want to thank our director. That would be Wayne Getz. Our camera people tonight are Derek Henry and Kelsey Beimer. And back at the station on Betty Road, Kelly Getz helped us put this live telecast together. The Shawnee Indians go to 16-6 and six on the season, 8-1 and one in the Western Buckeye League with a 54-51 win over the Elida Bulldogs. You've been watching high school basketball on WOSN.